Hey guys, welcome to another video, this time about Shopify and WooCommerce. I think these two are the most commonly used shop systems for small sellers. So, um, of course, there are many, many more like Magento and um, Zencard and stuff like this. But I think most of nowadays sellers who are getting started with e-commerce are using one of these two. And I tested both, both of them several times. So I kind of know what to say about each of them. And my personal favorite, I can say this right now already, is uh, Shopify, simply because of its features and its um, usability. But also WooCommerce has its um, strengths. So in this video, I want to show you the um, both shop systems from my point of view. And let's get started with Shopify, which is, I think, the platform that most of you guys are using. If you don't know, much about it yet. Um, it has more than 325,000 merchants who are selling their stuff um, through Shopify, but there are also big brands like Tesla or the LA Lakers and um, Red Bull and so on who are um, selling stuff through Shopify. So Shopify is more than just a very small platform for beginners because um, even though you can start small, it has the ability to also handle very big high volume stores with multiple thousand sales a day. Um, this is nice to know because um, if your store grows and at some point, hope, hopefully it will, um, Shopify is still absolutely able to cover all your needs. And this is very important because there are some people who think that Shopify is only for small stores, but it actually isn't. So one of the big strengths of Shopify is the very high usability. Face, uh, Shopify is very easy to use, very user friendly, especially if you have no clue about web development and programming and stuff like this so basically anyone can use shopify it has a very clean um, graphical user interface and another extremely nice thing about shopify is the app store there you can find several thousands of apps here about marketing sales social media to integrate all kind of things here also accounting and finance stuff Reporting here like you orange my favorite tool that I link in almost any video because I think it's so awesome um, Yeah, so all kind of things that you can use to make your Shopify store even better because Shopify itself is already great but since it tries to Please as many people as possible. Of course it, do it, it doesn't include like um, all features that you could think of so it comes in a basic version that is great for anyone, but you can expand it and extend it with custom apps. Here, for example, Oberlo, I think most of you guys are using it or, or heard of it before. A great plugin to import products right now only from AliExpress, but maybe at some point in time, even from more um, platforms to import them in your store and sell them directly from your store. So it, t it saves you a ton of time. Uh, I also linked this, this one in the description in case you didn't know about it yet. It's also a really nice tool. So this is another strength of Shopify, along with the forums, um, really helpful. If you have problems, you usually get an answer quite quickly. And another great thing is the chat support. I, I work with the chat support quite often now, and they all, almost every time they answered within a few minutes. So it's a really nice thing. You might just do this open chat here. I never called them um, because chat always was really great. So that's about Shopify. It costs $29 a month. Uh, so it's more expensive than WooCommerce because it's free. But um, yeah, if, if you think about not using Shopify because it costs $29 a month, then this may be the wrong business for you at all. Because the $29 a month are a really, really small and good investment if you, thi um, <coughs> if you think about that you have your complete store covered with it. So. You can start selling with only this small investment, so it's really great. Um, it's really great to use, it's very easy. So I think personally that if you want to get serious with, with e-commerce, then $29 shouldn't stop you from starting the store. And if, if, if it does, then yeah, maybe you're in the wrong business and should look for something else. Um, well, so the second thing now is WooCommerce, and this is obviously also a very nice um, platform more than 80 mil, 18 million downloads, so really awesome thing, 39% of all online stores. And the thing with, uh, with WooCommerce is that it's actually 
easier to customize in my opinion but it's harder to get really started with it with it if you have no experience so if you have zero experience with web development and anything like this you may need more time to get started with woocommerce than with shopify with shopify everything is basically there you in you can integrate all your payment pr providers with one click with woocommerce it's a little more work so you have to make a lot of things manually you have to combine all kind of plugins and and packages and you have to do a lot of work before you can really start to sell i mean before you can start selling in a in a, in a good way so on shopify the very basic version looks good already and you're almost ready to go with woocommerce you definitely need some yeah some some time up front to get started and to prepare yourself but on the other hand the positive thing about this is that it's easier to to customize the store itself so so shopify is great to have a plain store but if you want to make um, more sp more special changes to it that go beyond just tweaking the template a bit so if you want to make real changes in the in the template where you have to modify the liquid files it, it gets a little hard it gets, it gets a little tricky and if you have no if you have no experience in web development it's pretty hard to do these things and you would most likely have to hire a Shopify expert. With WooCommerce it requires less skills to individualize. So if you have a store or a product where you think um, you definitely need something out of the box, where you have to move around things, where you have to make a completely unique store and not just a, a template like on Shopify, you may think about getting WooCommerce but be aware of the fact that you um, will need more time to get everything running that it's not that smooth as Shopify so you don't have you you cannot just log in and bam you're ready and it starts so prepare for a little more work it is free this is a good thing but as soon as you get some plugins that are sometimes really useful and sometimes even necessary in my opinion you also are at several dollars a month and this can easily increase to 20 for 50 or more so um, think about this as well all in all my personal um, favorite is definitely shopify i used it in most of the shops so far i used woocommerce only twice and um, yeah it was also a good experience but in my opinion especially if you're just beginning i would go with shopify in like 80 or 90 percent of the cases if you really have a product that is some kind of special or that where you think um, it needs some further um yeah presentation and unique designs and stuff like this then think about getting started with woocommerce but the price shouldn't be a factor in this equation because if you don't have the 29 bucks a month like i said before then you shouldn't go into e-commerce at all i have this video made uh, where i said why you should have at least 500 dollars in budget for e-commerce i will link this below as well and yeah then think about which one you want to use i made a link for you for both shop systems in the description so that you can easily access them and i hope that you yeah that you make the right choice let me know if you have any questions or feedback and then see each see you at see each see you next time